Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Resident Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Brent Colombini. His presenter is his high school coach, Mr. Gary Cameter, who retired with 33 years of service in teaching and coaching at Yakaya High School. Brett Colombini's father asked Brett what he wanted to do, and Brett's response was he wanted to be a state champion. Brett's father said, okay, let me show what it looks like. And so they went. They drove to Fresno to watch the state tournament. Brett is quoted as saying, I was looking at guys with muscles coming out of their earlobes. If this is what it's going to take, I've got a lot of work to do. This was a smart part of my dad because all I had to do was see it. It's a work ethic. I was willing to do anything and everything to make it happen. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Brett Colombini did make it happen. Brett attended Yakaya High School where he was a three-time league champion and two-time CF North Coast section champion. He placed third at the state tournament as a junior in his senior year of 1990. He won the 175-pound CIF state tournament championship. In addition, Brett placed second at the NHSCA National Championships and was a high school All-American. Brett continued to wrestle after high school where he wrestled for the University of Minnesota, which was a Big Ten powerhouse that became the nation's top-ranked program during his junior year. And during those years from 1991 through 1995, Brett was a three-time Big Ten runner-up and a two-time NC2A All-American. Furthermore, Brett was selected as the Minnesota Wrestling Athlete of the Year in 1995. After graduating from Minnesota with a communications degree, Brett Colombini moved to Southern California and became an investment banker. He has since become an entrepreneur and has started several businesses. Brett is now back in Yakai as a partner with the CBD company, and Brett has coached at both Yakai and Windsor High School. In closing, and while being interviewed by the Press Democrat newspaper, Brett Colombini shared, the thing that I remember the most is the great teammates, incredible coaches, all the adversity, little old Yakaya going into the California State Championships my senior year. Pretty darn good for a little school. Well, Brett, little old Yakaya is now going into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Brett Colombini. My friends are going to make fun of me. In fact, I, uh, I'm a little nervous. Public speaking isn't really my thing, but um, the last time I stood in front of this many people, the first words out of my mouth were not guilty, Your Honor. <laughs> well, good evening. Um, it's truly an honor to be recognized in a group of so many incredible athletes, contributors, and supporters in this great sport of wrestling. Um, I want to first start off um, by thanking the California Wrestling Hall of Fame Committee and a big uh, congratulations to all the fellow inductees here this evening. Uh, to begin, I need to recognize um, a few important people in my life over the years. Um, I want to start off with my family, um, my beautiful daughters, Gia and Bella, my son, Bo, who's uh, wrestling for Fresno State for the incredible uh, coaching staff there, uh, Troy Steiner. I want to thank my mom and dad for all their support over the years. Um, if you don't know my mom, she likes to ask a lot of questions. Uh, if you've seen her at tournaments, she's, uh, I usually try to limit her about five questions or less, but she likes to take it a little bit further than that. And what's interesting, what she would use to do, and I don't know if this was a setup or not, but she used to uh, go talk to my competition. And I used to think, man, is she either trying to tick me off or she's pretty smart? And I think she's pretty smart. So thanks for that, Mom. Um, my dad, uh, Don, um, supported me over the years. Um, tremendous supporter, extremely patient. Um, he was also uh, pretty smart in getting me to the state tournament. And when I say these guys had muscles coming out of their earlobes, that was no lie. Jason Verdusco, do you guys remember Jason Verdusco? Uh, Mark Girardi, uh, two incredible guys, and I looked at my dad, I said, you know what, dad, I think we got something going wrong here. And he said, what's that? And I said, well, we got two Italian guys, I look nothing like them. I said, we have to change our spaghetti sauce recipe. And he says, you know what, Brett, I think you're right. And uh, from that day on, and for the next four years, he got that sauce right. So thanks, dad, I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my coaches, uh, Mr. Jerry, uh, Aikman, 
California inductee, uh, 40 plus years at Ukiah High School, uh, tremendous uh, coach and contributor to the sport of wrestling. I'd also like to thank uh, one of my great workout partners, George uh, Lopez, who was instrumental in my success in, in wrestling. I'd also like to thank this gentleman to my left, Mr. Gary Kavner. Um, Coach Kavner, when I was you know, a, a young man, stretched me, punished me, abused me. In fact, I'm going to turn him in after this. I don't... Uh, he was somebody in my life that uh, really stuck by me, and he continues to do it today. This man takes in foster children. He works with the homeless. He does uh, so much for our community, and he did so much for me in my life, and I'm truly, truly blessed. Um, I also like to thank um, my teammates um, throughout the years. Many of them are here tonight. Um, I do appreciate that. All my friends and family that are here that are joining me tonight. Um, I also like to thank uh, Marty Morgan, my teammate at University of Minnesota, and Mr. Jay Robinson. Um, Coach Robinson was super instrumental in my life. In fact, he called me the other day and he says, Hey, Beanie, what's the one thing that people um, what's the one attribute in people that everybody admires the most? So I gave three answers. Naturally, Jay asked questions that you don't know the answers for. And I said, I, I don't know, Jay, what is it? He said, courage. And I thought, wow, what a, what, a, what a statement, right, for our sport and for a guy like Jay Robinson. And I think that, you know, just looking at everybody out here, all the, all the people in, in this sport of wrestling, it does take courage. Courage to do the right thing. Courage to speak up when you're not supposed to, or, or when you don't think it's right, or courage to, you know, compete and get in a 30-foot circle. And, um, and Jay uh, definitely had the courage to do what's right, and I want him to, uh, to know that I, I appreciated him. And lastly, um, I want to thank the wrestling community. Um, I've met, seen so many people here over the years, and I do appreciate everything that you all have done. Keep making investments, keep planting seeds, and these kids were all a byproduct of this uh, contribution. So to everybody in California and California wrestling, I say right on, right on, right on. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. Brett Colombini.